Hello everyone, this is Amit Dhan of AmitDhan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Alexa Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to change or how to delete your Alexa voice history on your Alexa app. In the past it was actually not easy to delete Alexa conversation or Alexa history but Amazon has made some recent changes which uh, you know allows to uh, change or delete your Alexa conversation or Alexa history very easily and today I'm going to be showing you how you can do that so now you have uh, two options to do that uh, basically you can go to your uh, Alexa app on your cell phone or you can go to Alexa website alexa.amazon.ca or alexa.amazon.com or if you're in a, in a different country then it's uh, based on uh, your location uh, the website you'll be using and if you uh, go there then from there you're going to have uh, two separate options which will eventually uh, take you to the same place so i will start with my cell phone today or uh, my mobile phone so once you have uh, your alexa app on your phone you have to just open the alexa app and then once you open then you're going to see a home screen uh, like this then uh, go to this menu uh, by clicking the upper left uh, corner and then once you do that then you have to just uh, click on settings then it will take you to a different screen and uh, from this screen actually you have two separate options uh, you have uh, the option to click on Alexa account or you can just click on Alexa privacy uh, so whether you click on Alexa account or Alexa privacy it will take you to the same place and I'll show you uh, one by one so let's uh, go to Alexa account first and then uh, once you have here then you can go to history which is the lower option so you hit on history and then here you will see that there's a section called uh, review voice history and if you are you don't have uh, this option enabled on your phone or on your website uh, on Alex Amazon uh, Alex website then you have to just uh, enable this first and then here you're going to see a date range uh, that you know it says today so let's say if I tell Alexa right now to delete all recording, then it's gonna going to delete by today. Uh, but here you have the option to change it to different uh, time range. For example, you can say it, uh, today, yesterday, this week, this month, all history or custom. So let's say you want to delete everything, then all you have to do is just hit all history. That is going to change uh, the date range to all history. And then once you uh, do that, once you change it, uh, hit uh, the this all history, and you just you know save it, and or you can just you know uh, keep it here. And then next time you tell Alexa to delete history, it's going to delete all history. But I'm going to just uh, I have this set up as uh, only for today, uh, and then uh, once I go back. Uh, then it will just you know keep deleting whenever I tell Alexa to delete uh, what I just said it will delete everything and here you have the option actually to filter by devices but uh, for me I just uh, like you know if you don't uh, filter by devices then this is going to uh, delete for everything across the board all accounts under your uh, user ID for uh, Amazon or Alexa so now let's go back and then uh, if we go back to the history then it will give uh, get you to the same section or same uh, menu uh, by review of voice history so basically whether you're clicking on here uh, Alexa account and then history or whether you're just clicking the Alexa privacy uh, both takes you to the same place at the end for example you have to just review voice history and then you are at the same place so basically you have two options to do the same thing by by going to the Alexa app so I'll show you the same thing on the website uh, amazon.alexa.ca or uh, the dot ca or dot com is going to be different based on where you are and uh, that's where I'll show you so you may ask that you know whether deleting from here uh, means uh, Amazon is really going to delete everything or they are still going to keep some files or the 
transcript not may not be the voice file but the transcript in text uh, on their server uh, that I'm not sure because uh, I have a feeling uh, that you know they might still keep something but you know this is the option we have right now and uh, this is what uh, you know you can do just to keep everything safe or if you don't like Amazon to have your conversation history just a note that if you're deleting everything then Alexa is going to have difficulty uh, you know to customize your order or to know you better because uh, these voice conversation or voice history is used to uh, give you a better experience so if you're deleting everything uh, every few months then Alexa has to learn you again from the scratch so it will be a harder experience for Alexa to you know uh, giving you uh, what you're looking for so now uh, let's say my date range is today and I'll just give you an example uh, how uh, it uh, how uh, Alexa responses and then we'll uh, just look at a example of uh, how it works uh, when you tell Alexa what to do okay so I had the mic uh, off uh, I'm going to turn the audio on now and I'll ask Alexa to delete my what I said today Alexa delete what I just said today hmm I'm not sure Alexa delete what I said today you'd like to delete the recordings of everything said to me today is that right I'd just like to delete what I just said now. Sorry, something went wrong. But you can view and manage your voice interactions in the Alexa privacy section of the Alexa app. Okay, so she might not, uh, you know, uh, be responsive right away. You have to just like, you know, uh, tell her a few times or uh, maybe this is not yet working 100% perfectly, but it will work eventually. For example, Alexa delete what I just said okay I'll delete the last recording okay so right now uh, she has just deleted the last conversation but you can also tell her uh, the everything for today Alexa delete what I just said today sorry I don't know that Alexa delete what I said today You'd like to delete the recordings of everything said to me today, is that right? Today's voice recordings, right? Alexa, stop. Sorry, something went wrong. But you can view and manage your voice interactions in the Alexa privacy section of the Alexa app. Okay, so I don't want to delete everything for today. So basically she, she can understand what uh, you know she wanted to do. And uh, she's actually directing you to the same location which I just uh, showed you on the phone and uh, let's uh, look at the same section on the computer on your browser go to alexa.amazon.ca or alexa.amazon.com once you're there it will take you to a screen where you will see the menu on the left side and if you click on settings and if you go to Alexa account and there will be two options uh, history and Alexa privacy so basically these history and Alexa privacy options are the same as uh, what I showed you on your phone so for example if you click on history then it's giving you a range of uh, the conversation you're going to be deleting by giving Alex instructions so for example I set it up for my mind to be today and you can change it to any other uh, custom range or any other month uh, or anything specific you'd like so if you do that and then once you give, uh, tell Alexa that to delete uh, you know what you just said then Alexa will delete everything based on your options right here and uh, if you go back to the previous screen and then uh, if you uh, click on the other option right underneath history so basically it takes you to the same place uh, but you have to just click on uh, review voice history and then you're at the same spot and you have to you can do the same thing here so basically it's pretty much like uh, what you're looking at on your cell phone 
So that's how you change uh, or reset your uh, conversation with Alexa and how to change them or how to maintain them. Thank you for watching. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. I'll see you shortly.